Welcome everyone to another episode of Extreme Power No Handling and today we're dealing with 2000 BMW Z8. Now it has a 796 horsepower, 5.4 litre V8 and it weighs 3450 pounds. So yeah it has more than twice the power it had originally. Uh, it doesn't weigh all much, that much less than it did originally though because uh, even though the exhaust and other uh, upgrades to the engine do take off some weight the uh, addition of two turbos did add quite a bit of weight. That's where it got most of the power from. I did a whole 120 horsepower those turbos did. So yeah, uh, this is a decent handling car. It's not brilliant. Even standard it wasn't all that good. It could do about 1 minute 30 lap time. So yeah, let's see what it can do with all m more than twice the power it had with uh, no extra handling parts. Well, this is famously James Bond's car in The World Is Not Enough. Though, quite frankly, it wasn't even used all that much, to be honest, on the uh, film. Didn't even really have a car chase in it. Which is a shame, because it would have been nice to hear this car driving around. Certainly one of the more unique cars BMW's ever done. We should they do something like this now. Does sound good though. Now, in terms of handling, it can oversteer stock, so I'm more than expecting it to oversteer now that it has more than twice the power. But it didn't understeer at all, really, stock but it might do a bit now that it has a bit of extra weight up front with those turbos. Guess we'll have to wait and see. It's not really done any understeering at the moment. Mostly just a, a fair bit of oversteer, like that. It's easily manageable though. But there's the understeer. It's my fault mainly. But yeah, that's a pretty quick lap time so far. Like all cars I've taken around this on this series so far, it has less than 5.0 handling on the uh, stats. It was a 4.4 originally. So yeah, it's not exactly uh, classed as being a good handling car, but it certainly holds its own. There's more of that understeer there. Or it could just be my uh, poor driving. <laughs> yeah, definitely my poor driving. <laughs> Certainly fast in terms of acceleration though. does have a fair bit of weight, you wouldn't expect this to weigh as much as it does, but yeah, weighs a hefty three fa nearly three and a half thousand pounds, which is kind of bordering on an old American muscle car territory really. That we're set for a quick time. If we can keep it on the road. <laughs> so 
so there we go. That is, I think, the fastest time we have had so far on this series. Let's just check the uh, leaderboards. Yes, yeah, so a 1 minute 21.797. Let me just find it. There we go. Let's see how more you... Yeah, there we go. It's nearly a second quicker than that 52, 1952 Ferrari 375. And it's a lot quicker than that uh, Rolls Royce Wraith. More than two seconds quicker than that. So yeah, we have a new uh, leaderboard champion. So yeah, pretty good. I guess you could say it was a bit obvious being a uh, German sports car. But then again, it wasn't exactly great at hand with, and having more than twice the power, it could have easily uh, been awful. But I guess it does really have a decent uh, amount of grip because those tyres are quite wide and uh, the chassis can handle it. So yeah, somewhat of a surprise. But I guess if you were a, a, a driving uh, a car fan in general, then you would probably have guessed that it could have done that quick. Uh, but yeah. It's taken a while for that Ferrari to be knocked off, but it's finally happened. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.